Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do a different type of rule. Now so far you had learned two rules m times n and this is when I have different options. The second rule was you learned n to the power of r. This one here was when you had the same amount of arrangements so for each op option you had the same arrangement all the time and then r was how many options did you have. Now when we are using this specific rule it would usually be when a certain letter or number is allowed to be repeated. So in other words once you repeated it you can use it again. So if I wanted to have a maybe a code with 26 letters I could go with AAA. So if I had 26 letters, 26 letters, 26 letters I could decide I'm putting A there, I'm putting A there and I'm putting A there. I did have other options. I had 26 options in the first one, 26 options in the second one and 26 options in the third one. But what happens when you are not allowed to repeat. So you're not allowed repetition. So in other words, I have 26 options for the first one. But once I use A, I can't use it again. So now how many options do I have? I have 25. Now in the third one, I've already used 2. I've used my A and I've used my B. So now I only have 24 options. When you are allowed repetition, you always had the same number of arrangements for every position. So you had the same number of arrangements for all three positions. But when repetition is not allowed, then did you realize that you did not have the same number of arrangements for everyone? So you had 26, 25, 24. So let us take the same question that we had earlier. Okay, you have to make a password. You can use 26 letters of the alphabet and the numbers from 0 to 9. The following set has to be made. It has to be made two letters and three numbers. But what is different? No repetition. So now what happens? For the first two positions, I know it's the letters. If I use 26 for the one, then how many do I have for the second one? Only 25. Then we have the numbers. If I have 10 for the 1, then the second one is 9 and the third one would be 8. So what would my total be? You'd say 26 times 25 times 10 times 9 times 8. And your final total will be 468,000. Let's make it more interesting. You may not use vowels and you may not use zero. Number one, you can't use vowels. Number two, you can't use zeros. And number three, you cannot repeat. Now, what does that mean? Again, we know we have our five positions. With the numbers, it's easy. You know, if you have ten numbers, if I take out zero, you only have nine numbers. So, from, we have basically got from one to nine. So, there are nine arrangements. Okay, then the vowels. If you take the vowel, vowels A, E, I, O, U out. We have 26 letters. We have taken out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now for the letters, how many do I have? I have that I can make 21 arrangements. So we sort it out with the first one and we sort it out with the second one. But what does no repeat mean? It means... If I have 21 on the first one, I can't repeat a letter, so on the second one, I only have 20 options. For the numbers, I'm starting with 9, because remember, 0 is gone. I only have, I only have 9 arrangements. The second one is 8, and the third one is 7. So you need to think about these arrangements before you start filling it in. And our total options is... 211,680 options. So, when we are doing this, remember, if you have, if you allowed to repeat, so when you allow to repeat,
then you can say n to the power of r. But when you are not allowed, then it is best that you actually draw it number one and number two remember to decrease. Thank you for watching.